Austria's right-wing Freedom Party has beaten mainstream parties by a large majority in the country's presidential election. Preliminary results on Sunday showed that Norbert Hofer, who campaigned against immigration, took 36% of the vote. In second place, with 20%, was Alexander van der Bellen, a former spokesman for the Greens, seen here casting his vote. Van der Bellen, himself a child of refugee parents, is opposed to all restrictions on asylum seekers. It's the first time since World War II that candidates from Austria's two main parties didn't make it to the runoff. The Social Democrats and the Austrian People's Party, which together form the current coalition government, each received around 11% of the vote. The election doesn't mean a change of government in Austria. The Austrian president is a largely ceremonial figure. But the result is widely seen as a further sign of growing disaffection with established parties in Europe, struggling with the ongoing refugee crisis. In neighbouring Germany, home to the bulk of the EU's refugees, Chancellor Angela Merkel has seen her high ratings weaken, despite a recent tightening of her once liberal refugee policies. While in France, Marine Le Pen, leader of the National Front, another party calling for tighter controls on immigration, is expected to make a strong showing in next year's presidential elections. Hoffer and van der Bellen will likely face each other in a runoff vote on May 22nd.